Hey, Psych2Goers, have you ever wondered what it's like to be depressed? Are you concerned that someone in your life might be depressed? Do you think that you could spot certain patterns in people who might be depressed? Let's discover some of the most common signs that someone is dealing with depression together. Number one, they feel helpless and hopeless. Does someone you know seem bummed out, but it's been an ongoing feeling for longer than two weeks? Do they have a bleak gray outlook on their life? People who are depressed struggle with despair and they have a difficult time feeling optimistic because their emotional response to things, good or bad, can be difficult to express. Number two, they've lost interest and pleasure in their daily activities. Do they find the activities that they used to enjoy suddenly pointless? Have they neglected their hobbies or personal hygiene? When asked about their withdrawal, do they reply with, what's the point? Or why should I try? Depression makes people lose their ability to feel pleasure and joy. Number three, they have feelings of self-loathing and worthlessness. Sufferers of depression develop inaccurate and harsh self-criticisms because they zoom in on their mistakes and flaws. This leads to them feeling guilty about past actions and events and even guilty for having depression itself. This results in low self-esteem and feeling worthless and the cycle starts up again. Number four, they have unexplained aches and pains. Depression not only affects our minds, but our bodies as well. Does someone you know have persistent body pains that they can't shake off, even with medication? These symptoms can be psychosomatic, which refers to real physical symptoms that arise from or are influenced by the mind and emotions rather than a specific cause in the body. According to doctors Nancy Schimmelfanning and Stephen Gans, some examples of physical symptoms are headaches, stomach pain, back pain, stiff joints, and aching muscles. Number five, they feel fatigued and slow. Has this person complained about feeling drained and sluggish? And those feelings don't go away even though they get enough sleep. Do they take naps daily even with sleep? Another physical symptom of depression is fatigue and decreased energy because of the mental exhaustion that comes with depression. Number six, they have memory issues. Do they feel like they can't think straight and are forgetting important tasks and appointments? Depression can cause problems with making decisions and remembering things. Brain fog is another annoying symptom because as depression increases, the ability to focus decreases. Number seven, they develop changes in their sleep habits. Do they sleep less than normal or has the standard hours of quality sleep required for their age changed? Or have they developed insomnia or don't sleep well at night? Perhaps they have hypersomnia, meaning they sleep more than they used to. However this manifests, it becomes hard for them to keep up with daily tasks and this lack in quality sleep can lead to anxiety. According to a University of Pennsylvania study, it was discovered that subjects who were limited to only 4.5 hours of sleep a night for one week reported feeling more stressed, angry, sad, and mentally exhausted. Number eight, they have a change in their appetite and weight. Does this person seem to have lost their appetite or gained a heartier one? Or do they seem as if they've lost or gained weight without even trying? Apparently this change in appetite can happen quite quickly over the course of a month with a 5% change, according to helpguide.org. Edward Abramson, PhD, Emetrius professor at California State University at Chico states, when you're depressed, it's much harder to get out of bed, much less pay attention to what you're eating. Number nine, they're irritable and have mood swings. Has this person become restless and easily upset by small things? Do they say that people are getting on their nerves? As a result of depression, they have an internal imbalance. So they have uncontrollable emotions that fluctuate. For example, from happy and calm to angry and upset. They have a low tolerance for people's behaviors, so they lash out unexpectedly, creating more guilt and tension within themselves and therefore their relationships. And number 10, they obsessively talk and think about death. People with depression unfortunately deal with suicidal thoughts that become frequent and can sometimes be acted upon. This internal black cloud makes it nearly impossible to look forward to anything at all. They might say things like, no one would miss me if I was gone, or everyone would be better off without me. If anyone feels like acting on these impulses, please find help by calling your national suicide hotlines or contacting a medical professional or sharing with a trusted friend. 
We've added a list of suicide hotlines in the description below. Do you or someone you know relate to these signs? If you found anything helpful, please share this video with anyone you think it could benefit. Do you have any other warning signs that you know of? Please feel free to share in the comments below. As always, the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.